Hi there, everyone. Happy Easter. Um, this is a time for all ki a kind of a celebration, but also a special time to remember our connection to creation. The, the word Easter came from some pagan fertility god called Oystera. So there's lots of stories about where Easter came from. But what I would like to share with you is my excitement about the mathematics of the shape of this Easter egg which is actually based on the golden ratio. So it is the Easter egg, but I'm going to call this the phi egg, an, an egg symbolic of creation, as we know, birth and creation. So what I'd like to do is um, I'd like to start off with the, the value for phi. So if we start off with a circle, let's start off with the circle. So I'm just going to go over the circle in my yellow chalk. So you can see we have a circle, but the, the measurement of the circle, here's our center. If we allow the radius of the circle here to be phi. So phi has a value. It's based on the formula one plus the square root of five divided by two. And we know that root five, root, root five comes from the double square. So it's the diagonal of a double square. If that's one and that's two, this value is 2.236, 2.236 plus the one and we divide it by two, we end up with a value for phi called 1.618033988749894844. And it goes to infinity. That, that there was 17 decimal places. But if you were to um, look at, phi on a chart taken to 1000 decimal places you can see that this is a very special number it's the key to um, time structures biological systems crystals it's it's the key to the universe to me so we're going to explore phi so by setting our circle to phi we know that this is 1.618 so that means the the square around it also that means the distance or the diameter, if we were to look at this whole distance here, we'll call that 2 phi, because if that's 1 phi and another phi makes the diameter, we'll call that 2 phi. So that's just basically the size of the square, 2 phi. Now I need to know this value for 2 phi. Let's, what's the value of 2 phi? It's 1.618 plus 1.618. It's almost like you're adding double 16 is 32 and double 18 is 36. So this distance going along here is called 3.236. So that's 1.618. The diameter is 3.236. Now what, it, what happens is I need to get this distance. So I need to get this diameter of two point, I'll do it from here. So I've marked it here. So that, that value here to my thumb is 2.236. So I need to get this value and pass that length from here through the, the zenith point. So what I do is I put it up to there and I get this point here. So if that's 2 phi, this, this is also 2 phi. And then I do it again and say that that's, so that's the value of 2 phi, the diameter. I put it, I place it there and it makes a point around here. So now I know that that's also 2 phi. That's one, this is one phi is the radius. It's just that's going from there to there. What we want to establish is what's the height, the vertical height of our Easter egg. So by applying two phi, two phi, I've got two critical points. And now that gives me enough information. That gives me enough information to get this point here, which is called phi cubed. So phi cubed is the whole distance of the, the egg. So phi cubed means one point, it's, it's 1.618 times 1.618, which is 2.618 times 1.618 again. And that equals 4.236. So that distance here is 4.236. So you can see that these are very, important critical measurements. So now I've got enough information to construct the egg. So what I need is I need this point here, I need this point and that point 
to get my semi so there's there's half my egg that's my semicircle so we needed the circle harmonics to get half the egg and then from here we have an inverted it's called a parabola parabola is a mathematical equation y equals x squared we can actually plot this perfectly y equals x squared and it's it's got to do with how light is reflected so it comes around and you can see it's a smooth beautiful natural shape and that's how we create um the egg shape the phi egg like i said it's an important um geometry because it not only embraces the mathematics of the circle which is spirit it also embraces the parabola which is y equals x squared which is taking mathematics what they call to the second dimension or the next dimension so this is why this is a receptacle um th this is a life-giving principle of creation of birth and so may we apply this knowledge into our technology and into our lives